I'm going to show you about right here about how you can add a scene. We'll do that. Let, let's go to scenes. Okay. You'll notice that you can do two things. You can either create allowed website lists or blocked website lists. Okay. Most of the time you're kind of going to do the allowed ones. Um, I'm going to show you an example. My no excuse. I call the first 12 minutes of my class no excuse time because um, they are supposed to be checking their grades their messages and doing their typing lessons. And I call it no excuse time because they have no excuse to say they didn't have time because I'm giving them time in class. Well, when I open it, you'll see that the things I'm allowing right here, the, this list that I built, they're allowed to get to their typing lessons. Um, this one, I believe is their, um, uh, uh, this one's their email. This one's their, uh, one of them is power school and one of them is their, uh, class link. But those are the only four things they're allowed to use at that time. So I created this scene and I named it that. Okay. I'm going to go back to scenes. So that's my no excuse time scene. Then I created one called my basic list. This is like their most frequently used apps that we probably always want open for them. So if you look at it, it has things like all their G Suite, any G Suite uh, Google apps, Google itself, uh, Canvas, um, uh, things like that, okay, that they're probably going to use most of the time, smart pass and things like that. Here's some other things that if you think apply to it, these are just some uh, quick uh, suggestions that you can also add in too, okay. And then I want to show you how I needed another list that was basic, but added one or two more things to it just for one day. And so I didn't have to create a new one. I could go off, I can click on the uh, the settings gear here and click on make a copy and it'll lead me through and let me make a copy. Okay. And you'll notice, excuse me, I, I went back a screen. You click on make a copy and it'll lead you through the steps. So I'm going to click make a copy and I'm going to show you the one I created. I created one called basic plus H-E-B slash Kroger because we were doing an, a, a, a an activity where they were allowed to do some shopping from HEB or Kroger website. So I wanted them to be allowed all the things that were in the basic plus HEB and Kroger as well. Okay. I'm going to go back to scenes now. And again, like I said, you can also create a blocked website list as well right here. Okay. Most of the time I stick to the allowed websites and that blocks everything else, but allowed stuff. Okay, so now I am going to go back to our session that is currently going on by just clicking right up here. You can also do it by going back to classrooms. There's a few different ways. But I'm going to go back to my session that's currently going on. And you'll notice that uh, right now I don't have any scene applied to it right now. So right now I'm just able to watch, their, uh, watch them and monitor them. But none of my scenes that I had created is applied. So now all I have to do to apply a scene is come right over here and click on the drop down menu. And you'll notice it gives me a few different options. There are the ones I had created the no excuse time, the basic list, the basic plus HEB Kroger. Um, you'll also notice I don't have any blocked website lists yet, or those would show up there as well. You'll also notice I can create a new scene from right here. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and you can do this all live during a session. You can, the session can be going on and you can change the scene from one to the other as they're working. So let's go ahead and go back to classrooms for the final thing. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is simply how to end the session. But before I do, I want to mention to you, you're going to have to kind of play around with building your uh, scenes. It's going to take a little bit of time as students say, hey, Mr. Sanchez, this one's blocked. Well, you'll notice it blocked right here on theirs, and you can unblock it from, you can add it to the scene just by clicking something. It makes it real easy. So it'll take a little bit of time, but once you get your scenes built, you're going to love it. You're going to be able to use them easily and manage the things your kids are doing.